it's 10 in the morning. I've just done the school run and uh, handed the baby over to the nanny. I can't call her my nanny because she's actually my editor's nanny and she lends her to me every morning, which is a very nice arrangement. Um, and I walk into my study. It's the first time I've ever had my own study. Um, for the last nine years of being a writer, I've been working in quite compromised situations like uh, little cramped corners in the corner of bedrooms. Um, so I get a thrill every time I walk in here. And I also get a thrill every time I look at my desk, which was actually made to my very own specification by my father-in-law. So this is one of my most treasured possessions. Um, I sit down and I look at my computer. My computer is both my friend and my enemy. My friend when I'm working well and my enemy when I'm finding ways not to work. Um, obviously the uh, internet provides too many distractions, mainly eBay. I have a very, very, very bad eBay habit. Um, slightly addictive and I can actually spend hours and hours on eBay um, on, on a bad day. Um, Output wise, I would love to be the sort of writer who churned out 1500 words a day every day and then went and had a gin and tonic and a game of tennis. Unfortunately, um, I'm not as predictable as that. At the beginning of the process, I can sometimes only manage 200 words a day. When I get towards the end and I've built up some momentum, it can be as much as 5,000. Um, this is a very useful tool for me. I don't do much in the way of research. If I can't find it on Google, I tend not to bother with it. Um, but this I do use to, uh, all my books are set in London, so I use this to check that I've got the, uh, the right road name and the right exit at the tube station and the right side of the river. Um, and sometimes, when my computer is providing me with way too many distractions, I have to take myself away from my computer completely and go and do it the old-fashioned way with a notepad and a pen. Um, and that's, that's a way of kick-starting myself back into doing some proper word counts every day rather than just um, hanging around on eBay. Now, we have evidence here of my eBay habit, which I felt needed focusing. Um, so I thought, if I had a collection then I'd only spend a few minutes on eBay every day just seeing if they had anything there for me to buy. So I decided I'd collect antique miniature picture frames. That seemed nice and obscure. Um, on this shelf is my backlist, um, the little Lisa Jewel section. This is my new paperback, which is coming out any minute now. Um, this is a picture of my mum and dad about a year after they met that was taken for the Guardian social pages, which is a beautiful picture. It's very glamorous. Um, and this is a picture that means a lot to me. This is the artwork for my second novel, 30 Nothing, which in itself I think is a very romantic, a very pretty picture, but also always takes me straight back to when I first started writing and I was young and the excitement of it all. It's a, yes, it's a, it's a very nostalgic picture for me, that. Um, of course, this being my first study, I've made it very personal. So I work surrounded by lots of personal pictures, um, mainly of, of women, as you can see, including my mother. Um, and another thing that's really important to me, and this really is the linchpin, I would say, of, of, of my occupation as a writer. I belong to a writer's chat room, and we're actually called The Writer's Block, and um, we've been going strong for about 10 years now. We're very close-knit and very supportive. And at the very first Writer's Block Christmas party, this was my secret Santa present and it's called the writer's block and it's full of little tips to kickstart your imagination which I've never actually looked at <laughs> um, but this does represent to me something that's hugely important for me it's a little online community and it's a little virtual office and I couldn't write without it